Divan Energy, the dividend stock favorite, the favorite stock of some passive income investors who are attracted to the variable dividend policy reported third quarter earnings results, which I'm going to review in this video. I'm also going to update my buy recommendation for Devon Energy stock coming into the quarter. I had the stock on the borderline between a buy and a hold. You're going to want to tune in to see if I'm changing that recommendation. I want to so, thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. So let's get right into these results. So the key takeaways from the third quarter was that Devon Energy increased its dividend, the total dividend of 77 cents per share announced with the third quarter results was an increase of 57 percent of course that will be music to passive income investors ears as they love devon energy for that dividend that's one of the main selling points of devon energy stock and of course the company wouldn't be able to increase that dividend if it weren't for the growing cash flow free cash flow generation in the quarter accelerates to 843 million that was more than twice the rate of the second quarter in 2023 additionally management highlighted that it has a long runway of profitable opportunities to continue producing and it possesses 12 years of low risk development inventory and low cost structure that drives differentiated margins so in other words management suggesting to investors that it can continue this level of performance for several years into the future in providing the outlook for the next quarter management highlighted that free cash flow will continue to increase in the fourth quarter with free cash flow expected to come in at over 900 million in the fourth quarter that will be an improvement from the 843 million in the third quarter which was already a more than 2x improvement from the second quarter of 2023 so uh, devon energy continued to making steps forward and increasing its free cash flow quarter over quarter over quarter despite the fact that oil prices have not been working in its favor as of this recording oil prices the uh, wti price of brent crude oil was down to 75 dollars per barrel that's down significantly from the highs when the oil price was above 100 dollars per barrel so the company managing the business effectively even though commodity prices have come down and worked against devon energy here in the second half of 2023 in continuing with its forecast now looking at beyond just the fourth quarter of 2023 management forecasting for 2024 a few solid points to make here number one being free cash flow growth for 2024 in 2023 devon energy is expecting to generate 2.7 billion dollars in free cash flow that's expected to improve by 20 percent to 3.2 billion dollars in 2024 that would be a solid increase to be sure so one of the reasons for that is that the company believes it can be break even with oil prices wti at less than 40 dollars per barrel i mentioned already that as of this recording wti prices were at 75 dollars per barrel so there's a there's a sufficient gap there where the company can continue to generate profitability even if oil prices continue to move downward which hopefully for devon energy stock investors they don't continue to move downward also important to mention that the 2024 outlook of cash flow of 3.2 billion dollars is estimating an 80 dollars wti price and a five percent service cost deflation versus 2023 the five percent service cost deflation i would say is more likely than the 80 dollar wti price compared to where it is now it's at 75 dollars so the 80 dollars wti price is assuming an increase in the commodity price whereas the five percent service cost deflation is assuming an improvement in labor conditions where the company will not have to pay as much for labor and supply chain constraints are easing so the price of materials and goods have also decreased moderately compared to the high so that's more realistic 
than the $80 WTI price. Still, even if you consider the change in WTI price, the change in oil prices, Devon Energy shows that it can still generate an 8% free cash flow yield even at the $70 WTI price. Now, 75 to 70, that's not a long way down. It's good news that the company is showing it can still generate 8% free cash flow yield even if oil prices were to move downward to $70. However, if oil prices were to move upward towards $80 or $90 per barrel for WTI, then Devon's ca free cash flow yield would increase to 14%. So Devon Energy strongly correlated to the price of oil. And that's not surprising for many of you that are investing in Devon Energy stock. You're already likely familiar that it's strongly correlated with oil prices. And so interestingly, if you don't already own any oil stocks, then owning Devon Energy stock provides a bit of diversification for your personal finances in that if oil prices go up, you're probably going to have to pay higher at the pump for oil. But at the same time, if you own Devon Energy stock, the company is likely to benefit from the higher oil prices. So in a sense, it provides you some risk reduction benefits from having to pay higher prices at the pump for gas when you fill up your car. Because if you own Devon Energy, the higher prices would mean that the stock price would increase because the company would generate stronger free cash flow. So you get a bit of a, a offsetting factor in there. And that is only if you don't already own any other oil stocks. If you own other oil stocks, the benefit from this risk reduction is reduced because you're already getting some risk reduction from the other energy stock that you own. But if you don't already own any other energy stocks, then Devon Energy provides your portfolio, your holistic portfolio, looking at your personal finances as well as just your investment portfolio, then it provides you a bit of risk reduction benefits. I mentioned already that Devon Energy raised its dividend, but it's more important that it raised the fixed portion of its dividend. Remember, Devon Energy, its total dividend consists of a fixed portion plus a variable portion. The fixed portion stays the same regardless of the performance of the company. The variable portion of the dividend goes up and down based on the performance of the company. So for passive income investors, if an increase comes from the fixed portion, you'll be secured a certain level of dividends per quarter or per, uh, yeah, per quarter instead of having to have that fluctuating dividend up and down. So the, they raised the fixed quarterly dividend by 11% to 20 cents per share in 2023. And of course, I mentioned the variable dividend payout includes 50% of excess free cash flow. So that means the better free cash flow the company generates, the better the dividend will be because that will create excess free cash flow if free cash flow comes in higher than what the company's investment needs are. So now that we've looked at the quarterly results for Devon Energy, let's look at the valuation. And the metric I chose to use is the price to free cash flow because I feel that free cash flow is the more informative metric to look at for Devon Energy. Given its significant depreciation expense, which is a non-cash expense, I feel that free cash flow is a more informative metric. So given the company's free cash flow, we already highlighted how much free cash flow was growing in 2023 and management expects free cash flow to grow by another 20% in 2024. And compared with its valuation of a price to free cash flow of 26.82, I would not be upgrading Devon Energy stock right now. I would keep it on the borderline of a buy and a hold, closer to a hold than a buy because the valuation is not that cheap and considering that oil prices have been coming down, it's at $75 per barrel right now, and the assumption of a 20% increase in free cash flow for 2024 was assuming a WTI price of $80 a barrel. So for all those reasons, I would keep the stock on the borderline between a hold and a buy. It would depend again on your personal financial situation, and more so, I would favor this stock in the portfolios of investors that do not have any other energy stocks. That way, it also provides you a benefit, a risk reducing benefit from higher oil prices. So that would make it more likely to be a buy for investors that don't have 
any other energy stocks in their portfolios. But before I let you go, if you've gained any value from this video, please subscribe to the channel. It'll really help me make more videos just like this one. As always, thank you so much for watching.